so today I'm doing a very different video. I'm doing a terrarium video, a terrarium creation video. If you didn't know, terrariums are like indoor ecosystems that you like create in a little cute pot or something and you put them in your room or in your living room and it like brightens the whole feng shui. Alright, let's get started on our terrarium making. I've never done this before, I'm not a professional, so nobody judge me. Alright, we're gonna start off, and I don't even have like real work gloves, I just got these gloves from, you know, the house that you clean up around the house with and I doubled up on them. But anyways, let's see. Okay, it doesn't hurt too bad. So, I need some scissors. We're going to start off by getting this out of the way. I'm going to get these out of the way. Now we have them more easily accessible. We're going to put a little bit of potting soil I know you can't see my bottom. face, sorry if that bothers you, but it's kind of just like a voiceover walkthrough. I had to move indoors because there was... There's my face. I had to move indoors because there was a wasp that wanted to make its home on my head. It wanted to sting up my face, and I'm allergic to pretty much everything, so I didn't have time to be going to the hospital, you know, just trying to be brave. So I came inside, I'm in my room. Anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and get started where we left off. So we're going to start off with this cactus. This is the Cactus Assorted. <laughs> um, it's the Bristle Brush Slash Mammillaria Pilcayensis. Well, um, I showed you guys earlier. So yeah, we're going to start off with this one. We're going to take it out. After we put a thin layer of potting soil, I'm going to start, you know, putting it in. So. I really hope there's, like, not bugs in this potting soil. But like I said earlier, when I read the bag for this potting soil, it says that it is for all container-grown plants, vegetables, herbs, and flowers. This premium potting soil is made from all natural recycled ingredients, good for our, all plants, and good for the planet. So, hopefully that doesn't mean poop and, like, bugs. Because <laughs> you girls don't have time for that. But anyways, I'm just breaking this up. We're going to put a little bit more. Can y'all see that? Can you see how it comes in clumps? Just breaking it up. Okay, so we have so far... That's just the bottom. I'm gonna put some more. Just a little bit. Cause I don't want like the roots to not have a place to go. You know, well maybe you don't know. If you're into gardening, you kind of feel me on that. So now, this is why I did the double up on the gloves. Eesh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Please don't poke me. Oh gosh, I've been poked by a cactus before and it does not feel good. Ah, 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 ow, ow, it just poked me. It just poked me. It just poked me. Try to. Please stop sticking me, bro. Like, seriously, that's not cool. I'm your mother. Okay, maybe I'm not your mom, but you don't respect me. Put some respect on my name. 
Oh, y'all can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just placing the soil around the potted part so it's going to stand up for now. Now it's standing. <laughs> At least it's standing, bro. Alright, now let's put some more in the bottom so that when we start our other ones, we'll have some soil to work with. We're going to put this cactus in. This cactus is the succulent elephant bush portulas, portulacaria afra. This one I could easily do, as you can see. You take it out of the pot, you stick it in wherever you want it to go. The other one was harder because I had to deal with the fact that I could possibly stab myself. Please be nice. Okay, look, we're gonna be nice to me because I brought you home. I just want you to be nice to me. Okay, it's standing up. Good money. Good money. You're doing better than your brother did. Dang. Brother wanna freaking stab me and stuff. <sighs> this cactus has been falling over since I freaking bought it. All of the ones like this, all the moon cactuses were. Or moon grafted cactuses, excuse me. So let's go ahead and take this one. Whoop. Let's take this one out. I'm really gonna have to vacuum after this. This is a mess. Do they have like professionals that do this for people? That would be a great idea. This hurts. This hurts really bad actually. Ugh. I thought this was gonna be easy, like you know when you plant stuff outside. You just dig a hole and stick it in a hole. This is not like that. You have to have small hands. It ain't over till it's over, so watch the finishing product be amazing. Anyway, so this is what I have so far. Let's turn you this way. And this last little area is where our straw flower cactus is going. This is like the cactus you see in movies. Okay. Oh, this one's softer. Okay, I can deal with this. Thank goodness, because the other ones are freaking hurting me really bad. Oh, okay, this one actually pierces things, even though it's, like, soft. So, now I'm back. It's actually, like... 9 16 at night when i first started shooting it was like four o'clock in the afternoon but my camera died and i'm just now starting this back so anyways i got to this i potted all of my cacti and now i'm going to just top it with some basic aquarium gravel i wanted white because i have a lot of white accents in my room i have a white comforter i have a lot of white shag rugs and since I'm keeping this on um, a dresser in my room, I'm going to top it with this white gravel just for aesthetic purposes. And I'm only going to use one hand, so I do need to put my glove back on because the cacti actually hurt really bad <laughs> when you poke, get poked by them. This one is the, um, what, which one is that one? This one is the straw flower cacti. This one, that one hurts the most. That one right there. And the basic, like, assorted one, the one that looks like the generic, you know, cactus from the desert movies and stuff, that one actually has really soft um, thorns. However, I did read that some of them have, like, microscopic thorns. Even though they're, like, soft to the touch at first, they'll eventually hurt because, like, you get hurt on the microscopic level, which is terrible. <laughs> so, anyways... As you can see, I'm just going to go around and top off the soil with white rock. So I'm going to do that and I'll probably just cut straight to the ending. Or I might let y'all watch me. Who knows? So anyways, while I do this, I'm actually going to talk about the direction I want my channel to go in. At first I was making really random videos, and I wanted it to be mainly pop culture, 
pop culture and stuff and then I realized like wow I'm actually like a 50 year old in an 18 year old body and I like doing stuff like making terrariums and like DIY projects and stuff so I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna make this like a lifestyle channel I might talk about like my diet and stuff and just DIY furniture I'm gonna DIY a dresser soon so that's gonna be an upcoming video this summer and I just got my first job so I'm gonna talk about that and probably vlog a little bit without getting caught at work which is a really bad idea but I'm gonna do it anyway So this is my completed terrarium. I'm so happy with it. All the poking and the thorns was so worth it. It is so pretty. The soil with the white gravel looks so great. I've got my succubus looking all looking and great and stuff. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so happy. I can't wait to put it in my room in the best place possible. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will be having a lot more awesome do-it-yourself videos like this one. Along with a lot of summer related things like a lot of summer arts and crafts because I do paint and stuff. So I'm really into different like arts and things like that. So be on the lookout for those videos. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!